In this video, I will show you a really quick and easy way to program 8051 using an Arduino. So without any further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. From them you can order your PCBs only for $2. Just upload your Gerber files to their website and then you can choose any color solder mask for the same price of $2, which is sweet. They offer service for 2 layer, 4 layer and 6 layer PCB. You can also order your SMD stencil along with your order. Now they have even started the PCB assembly service only for $7. So click the first link in the video description to learn more. Before we start, you can watch my previous video where I made this 8051 board, which we will be using today. But if you happen to follow this tutorial on a breadboard, don't worry, it will work. Now let me also mention this method will only work for 8089S52 and 8089S51 ICs and might work on P89V51RD2, but I haven't tested that one. Now coming back to the topic, first of all we need a 8051 board and an Arduino Uno. Use only Uno because Pro Mini or Nano won't work as they cannot provide enough current for IC to work properly. Now take some jumper cables and connect 5V and ground of the Arduino to the 8051. After which now connect reset, MOSI, MISO and SCK pins of 8051 to the Arduino's pin number 10, 11, 12 and 13 respectively. Now if you are working on a breadboard, don't worry, you can check the datasheet of the IC to find these pins. Now that is complete, you can connect your Arduino to your computer. And now connect EA pin of the 8051 to the 5V and leave it like that even after we are done with the programming. Now on to your computer. First of all you need to install the Arduino IDE. You can download it from arduino.cc for free or contribute some amount. Now open it up, go to files, examples and Arduino ISP and open it. Now select the board as Arduino Uno, select the COM port, for me it's COM6 and also make a note of that we will need it later and upload the code to your board. Now you need these two files. One of them is the configuration file for 8051 and another one is the text file with the command we need to upload the hex file on 8051. You can find the download link for them in the video description. Now copy this file which is configuration file and paste it in your C drive, else it won't work. Now open the text file and copy this. Now open the CMD on your computer and paste the line we just copied. Over here if you look closely this is the path of AVR dude in the Arduino IDE. And this one is the path for the configuration file we just pasted in our C drive. Now over here just change the COM port to the one we have connected our Arduino to. That's why I told you to make the note of that. For me it's COM6. After which here you will see 89s51 forward slash 1. Now since I am using 89S52, I will change it to that. But if you happen to use 89S51, then change it to that. And finally, here you are supposed to put the path of your hex file, along with the name of the file. So here are some example hex file I already have created. By the way, if you want to learn how to code 8051, let me know in the comment section. Anyways, right click on the file, go to properties, from here copy the path and paste it over here. Now go back and copy the name of the file with the extension. Once done, over here just put a backslash and paste the name of the file with extension. Now all we have to do is just hit enter and you are done. You will see the lights of the Arduino blink and then stop. And when you connect the LED to your 8051, it will blink, which means the coding was successful. And if you still have some issues or errors, let me quickly mention them. Number 1. Can't open the device on COM port. Solution for this is, check that you are using the correct COM port number or else plug the Arduino to your different COM port. If you still happen to have same issues, just restart your computer. Second one, error device signature 0x000. Make sure you have connected the jumper wires properly or else you have power on your 8051. You can check that via multimeter. Try reinserting the IC or else just use an external power supply. But make sure to connect the ground to the ground of Arduino. Third one will be error device signature 0x FFFFF. Once again make sure you have connected the jumper wires properly or else you have some issues with your IC. Just try a new one. And that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. 
If you still happen to have some issues, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.